My mirror broke. Look, there's no more light. I got it. <laughs> what I want for Christmas is a new mirror with lights. And now the blow dry. As I went to do the shower, I brought in the shampoo that I was going to use because I thought I would have to wash my hair since I didn't wash my hair before putting the overtone treatment. But guess what? The overtone treatment actually sudded up and it cleaned my hair. My hair came out squeaky clean, so I guess I didn't have to shampoo. Now it's all washed, ready to be dried, and let's see what it looks like. Hmm, it looks I don't know, messy gray hair with black and white? Who knows? Let's dry this. At the end, I'm going to use Kiehl's. What's this? Kiehl's Creme with Silk. If you want to know which product I'm using, please write in the comments and I can send you the link. But if you've been following me for a while, this is the same product that I've been using since 1995. Something like that. I remember it was in the 90s. I am somebody who likes to use heating tools and now my hair is dry at the end because I haven't cut it in seven months. From using styling tool for seven months, it has dried at the end, so I am due for a trim. Since I am going to use heating tools, I do protect my hair with BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. I don't squirt a lot, just a couple of squirts in the front and some in the back. Okay, maybe a bit more than one squirt. Now I'm going to comb my hair. When my hair was dyed, I used to have to comb from the bottom all the way up because I had knots everywhere. But now since this is my non-treated hair, except with overtone deep treatment, look, I can go straight in. But if I find knots, I just stop and I just gently comb out the knots. I'm going to use a side part. Wow, in the viewfinder, my hair looks pretty dark at the bottom. Let's just hope that it's only because it's wet. How I dry my hair is very simple. I don't use any crazy technique. For those who want to know, you just saw me, I combed my hair, I parted my hair where I wanted to be the part. It's not really very on the side, I call it a semi-side. I've always used the same method, which is to separate my hair in four sections. I separate the back, I pick up one side, and now I split this part in two, I just go just behind the ear. I pick up this section, 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 and I'm gonna work with this section in the back. You put your fingers through the strand, that's how you know how much hair you should be working with. I use a boar bristle round brush. This is a pretty big one, there are bigger size, but this is the one that I've used for 30 years, if not more. What I do is I grab the bottom section, I place my brush under the strand and I kind of have it taut there. I blow dry while pulling down the hair. At one point, I'm going to brush my strand and then roll the strand. I'm gonna have it as tight as possible and blow dry that part.
when I see that the hair is pretty dry, I will run the hair dryer very slowly over the hair with the bristle bore brush underneath smoothing all the cuticles it's almost like flat ironing Do we see the effect of overtone yet? I don't see any yellow. Last piece in the back. I brush my hair up and I keep it taut under my hairbrush and now I'm going to blow dry going up. The reason why I go up first is because it gives more volume to that piece that I want more bouffantage. Off camera, I'm gonna dry the rest of my hair, which is the same way. I'm just gonna come back for the finishing touches. Otherwise, you guys are gonna be bored. You're gonna watch me do this for what, a whole 45 minutes? Oh, I'm bored. I shall be back. Okay, so I'm left with this section and what I do is usually I cut this in half, I separate this in half and now I'm going to blow dry this backwards and what I'm left with is a little flip. By the way, I get asked all the time what haircut do I have, what style of haircut I have and I have long layers. I'm left with this little flip. When I'm going to trim my hair, well, I'm gonna have more layers, so we're gonna see more of these back flips. I call them my Farrah Fawcett flips. The last part, I'm doing the same thing. Now let's do this side. Here I have the habit of separating this with my comb instead of my fingers. I put the strand of the hair over my brush and it's taut. It's look, if I do this, it pretty much stays there. 
because it has to be really tight so that you can get rid of as much of the frizzy as possible. So here, I always got into the habit of grabbing the brush and putting it over my strand and then pulling it up. gonna cut in half or cut in half separate in half and I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side The last portion, which is the side bang, is gonna get a flip. <laughs> this is my bang. I put the brush over my bang and I'm going to blow dry the bang going all the way straight down. So it's straight down. Straight. This would be my hair dry, but of course I don't stop at this. I'm going to turn so you can see how the back is not totally fixed. Okay, so once this is done, I'm gonna take pieces of my hair, strands here and there, I'm going to re-blow dry over them. I like to take both sides of the bang, and even though there's, there's a split in them, I take the bang together and I pass the blow dryer over the dry strand again. My hair grab like this and I'm going to re-blow dry this bit Woo. 
when my hair needs a trim, it doesn't blow dry as well as it should, oh, for obvious reasons. And there you go. This is how I blow dry my hair step by step. I don't know if I showed you anything new. I think especially if the girls watching me were all about the same age, you know, between 45, 55, maybe 60, we've all done this one way or another, but I was asked to show how I do it. Oh, I forgot. The last thing that I put on my hair, it's Kiehl's Live-In Conditioner. It's infused with oil concentrate. I've been using this now for about four years and I love it because the smell is really great. It's silicone free. It does give my hair a lot of shine, especially when I need to go for a trim. Did I say that like a million times already? Yes, you did, Lisa. My OCD, when it latches on to an issue, it won't let go. With whatever I have left, I usually put it on my arm. Oh, I love that smell. This is how it all ends. The overtone, I think, has made my hair steel gray. It got rid of the yellow, that's for sure. We're not complaining. Okay, okay. Do we like it? Yep, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. By the way, I am wearing no makeup. I only put some eyebrows because I have finished all my makeup remover video. So I'm not gonna put anything on my face now that it's perfectly clean. I just put some eyebrows because so this is it, my friends. I hope this was an interesting video for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Gros bisous. Mwah.